Greetings, aviators. Matt Barr has asked me, can you show us a video of wing tuning? Yes, I can. This aircraft was pulling left, which means this wing here had less lift than this wing here, thus causing the roll, which made me maintain a pressure in the opposite direction. The resistance increases gradually until one day it's like, man, this is really good to be at work. And then it's time to tune the wing. It's almost always the result of the sail stretching. The goal is hands off, straight flight. Here is the how of it and the why of it. So what I did is I increased camber on this wing and I made no changes to this wing. See Brunelli's law. An increase in upper wing camber increases lift because as air speeds up, its pressure drops, thus lift increases. So. By increasing the upper camber height, the distance the air must travel over the top of the wing increases, thus the air speed over the top of the wing must also increase, which creates more lift by the air's decreasing pressure. Did you get any of that? These are the two battens increase the camber on. But first, we must compare them to the same two battens on the other side of the wing. Let's compare didn't change the two smaller battens because they're small. Notice the small change made to the larger batten. Do one, then test fly. Here are better photos of the incremental change made to the black tip batten. It's taller, it has more camber, it will have more lift. So how do we bend those battens? Get a hammer. A ball peen hammer is better. Wait, don't, stop, not that. This way is also risky. One kink and it's garbage. Best to bend the batten around a radius, a tree, a drum, or drop in on Terry Short, owner of Hawk Aircraft and master builder extraordinaire. Hawk Aircraft Manufacturing, owned by Terry Short here on the airfield, who routinely bends his own battens. How are you, Mike? Well, we can help you with that. <laughs> Terry has all the right jigs for bending these battens without putting a crink in it. Whatever your wing is, or you need a little bit of adjustment for your lift on your airfoil, we just take it in here, we're going to put it in this little, little jig here, wing bender. We're going to pull it back, and we can pull it back to a certain area. So you can go greater or less, depends on what you need. There you go. That's as easy as it is to make a bat. Perfect every time. <laughs> so now shove those bats back home where the sun don't shine and go test fly. Clear the prop. Look, Ma, no hands. It's wing tune complete. Such fun. And now back to the reality of the ground.